guys welcome to the channel this is Waga we're going to continue building our Instagram clone and what we're going to do today is we're going to continue our work on the profile view now the first thing I noticed is um I'm not actually on Instagram so I don't know how uh, I was working off uh, off a picture of the profile page which I found on uh, on the internet I actually found out that um, there's actually another another column here with the number of posts that a user has so we have to create that so that this um we can have three four posts then followers then following okay i'm not sure followers and following what order they are but let's just ours will have posts followers and following so that you can make it a bit more um in line with the real thing right um the good thing is that doing this is very very easy and what we could do first is we could come to our profile header and create a variable we could call it posts count like so and this is going to be an integer like that and we are going to go down and we're going to make this smaller we could um get rid of our preview because we are not really using it and um ap apparently there has to be a workaround i saw on stack overflow like i've said before to make um to make the preview work with firebase but i thought it faster to just run it from the okay it's not faster but let's just run it from the simulator it's better like that okay so the first thing we could do is we could make our padding um we could leave our padding the same but we could make our our what's it called our fonts a bit smaller so that we can have three because i think if we try to squeeze another one here we'll have a problem they won't it wouldn't fit right so instead of headline we could go to um what's smaller than headline we could go to footnote first let's try it out and then um let's try also this footnote rather than headline and if we test it we should see it's slightly smaller right um okay it's not okay let's just uh do this and save and let's try again and um of course the styling is a bit we're doing the styling on the fly right so that you can see whether things um work out i just tested to make sure that i can get it into that okay it's a bit it's a bit okay it's better and um we could make also the the font a bit smaller rather than title we could have um what comes before title uh okay title is a bit big let's get a sub headline right sub headline like so and do the same here say sub headline like this we save and we come back and what do we see and um probably since we're working on profile one thing you could do is you could go back to our tab and just make the profile page the first page so to just load directly into the profile so okay it's a bit it's a bit small sub headline is a bit small so this is going to be um oh okay Let's make it headline. Is headline bigger than title? I'm um, not entirely sure, but let's make it headline like so. Mm, because sub headline looks a bit too small for my liking. Oh, we could just put a font number. Uh, okay. Seems like that is not an option. Um, okay let's see title 2 and try that out title 2 you can hit command R to uh, just reload it and um, okay uh, that's bigger title 2 is bigger but let's just go with title like so and um, this is also title make the number a bit more prominent like so and we run it okay let's just leave it a title okay um that seems adequate let's leave it at let's leave it a title right and um of course you can style it as you see fit and after that we could copy this line let's just copy this code let's copy the code here in the v stack copy it 
hit copy come above the spacer and put it like so and what we're going to have here is instead of followers we're going to have posts this one is going to be called posts like so and here I'm just going to drop in the um, the number of posts like this we could say uh, posts uh, post post what what do you call it post count oh I've done that so we come here and we say posts plural count like so we save it and then we come back to where we have this where do we mount this we mounted this in the profile right so we go to the profile page like so and um, this is going to require post count and the post count which is going to be a type integer and we can get this from the profile service so we could say here profile service dot posts and dot count like so so if we save this in theory we should see our uh, the number of posts we have I don't know how many we have five six or seven or something okay so how many do we have let me just check and we have eight posts so there we have eight posts and um they look like they're a bit squished together. This post issue, the post being too close to the profile, is to come here and um, is to come to the stack, or let's just go to the H stack actually. And we had a spacer here. If we had a spacer here, like so, we should um, we should get it a bit more spaced out, and it will look a bit better, slightly better. And if we look at our code, uh, give it a second, give it a second, and um, come back to our posts. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit better like that, and we can actually continue from there. What we need to do is to make sure we hard code. We don't hard code our followers and following. Now, how we do that is we're going to have a collection for followers and another collection for following. So when you follow somebody, you go into his followers collection, and when somebody follows you, they go into your followers collection, and um, when they look at um, their following collection. They will find you your uid right you find the uids of people following or either following you or you're following them right and yeah so basically that um we'll create two different collections for that right one for followers and one for following uh it's faster and more efficient if you do it like that rather than pouring over the create one collection for followers and following and then try to figure out who follows who maybe using a dictionary or whatnot it's easier just to put the followers in one collection and then um, uh, arrange them according to the UID, right? And that's what we're going to do. So for that, we could come to um, the profile header. And in the profile header, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create two binding variables. We could come here and we could say binding. And um, we're going to have following, which is going to be an integer. And another one we could say binding this is going to be var followers which is going to be an integer like so and we can pass this in uh, into the hard-coded text and we could come here and we could say um, this is going to be this is followers so we could say followers like so and we could pass this in here and we could come here and say this is going to be following like so and uh, of course it's going to complain because we're not calling it and uh, we're not passing it in when we call it and um first thing we need to do is we need to go to the profile service i believe the profile service so we come to the profile service and we can create two variables right and um we could say published that we will watch we could say var following and this will be zero and another one will be at published published var followers and this is also going to start off as zero we're going to assume we don't have any followers and after that we can create uh, references to where in our collection we want to put it um, the references to the various collection so the first one you could say static we want to call it from wherever just make it a static var so that you can call it from wherever and we can say following like so and this is going to be auth service dot store root and you can look at where we're working with the auth service dot store root to see exactly what we why, why, why we're doing this or i will i can cover it quickly okay so we go to the auth service let me just look at it 
and if you go to the store root the store root is ba basically saying fire store dot fire store right so basically that so it's a shorter way oh it's more or less the same number of sentences but since we've already put it here and it's a static uh, variable you can just call it with alt service right or if you want you could just get rid of this and say fire store dot fire store right um so and uh get rid of the store root of course and say collection so either the, either of that will do and then after that we're going to have uh we're going to create a function that is going to return a collection reference so that we can um we can know we can look at the collection and find out whether a user is inside there um right yeah okay so we're going to this function is going to return a collection reference and for that we could say static let me just spell it correctly static func like so and this is going to be called the following collection like so and this is going to take a user id of type string like this and it's going to return a collection reference and just to make sure that it doesn't complain make sure you import firebase i imported firebase when i was testing this code out before i actually started working on it so make sure you have imported firebase and after that what we're going to return here is just going to be this following we created up here following like so and um you're used to it by now and the document we want, since we're going to put all the followers under the user ID, we want to pass in the user ID. So the document is going to be under the user ID. And the collection, I hope it's not too confusing. We're going to have a following collection, then a document user ID. Then inside that, we're going to have a collection called following. So um, I'm guessing it's, it's obvious. The document ID will identify the people that that user follows. So if you see following, following, it's a bit like if we look at our posts posts you get posts then you get a user's uid then under it you get posts so those are the posts that are under that user's uid right yeah uh I, we're supposed to correct it but we'll get that we'll get there at some point right now um the next thing we could do is we could create the function here under the where does this one end okay yeah that one ends there we could create the function that we can call we can call it let's call it follows so you could say func can be called follows give you as a more creative name it's going to take in a user id like so and it's going to be of type string and this one is going to be um following collection following collection it's going to scream at us and it's going to tell us that a static function has to be blah 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 and you can just hit fix and it's going to say profile service the following collection and it's going to take obviously a user id you can see it takes a user id and the user id is what we pass in right and what we're going to do is we're going to get documents like so and um for our completion we can just have a code block and here we could say query Okay, there, there are two arguments. You can call them whatever you want. You could call it query snapshot or queries. I'm using query snapshot because that is what is suggested in the documentation. But just either argument, right? You could call it Q and S. So let's call it Q and R, like so. Um, this is what is suggested in the documentation. And here we could say if let's document okay let's not call it document because document refers to something we could say if let doc equals query snapshot query snapshot um dot document like so and um we're just going to set the self dot we're going to set the following the following to the count to the number of documents that are inside so you could say doc dot count like so so basically that okay give it space in between like so right so if there is a user right and um if there is a user and uh like the number of documents so it's going to go into that collection and count the number of documents and then the number whatever number is going to be assigned is going to be assigned to the follow following right so it's going to be assigned to the following right um yeah so how we could how we could then um do that is we could make sure that whenever uh we load our user posts right we we can call follows right that's what we're going to do the next thing we need to do is we need to do the same for the followers right and for that we could just copy the code no need to reinvent the wheel after the sumerians already did the job right um come here do this make it the root collection we are interested in now is 
followers like so I already explained that copy this copy it like so and paste it and it's complaining because it forgot to change this into followers make sure that you change it all through and we come here and this should be the followers and this should be the followers and this should be the uh, followers like so so um yeah we basically do the same thing but for the followers collection right and after that we could come down here and we could check followers like so and um copy it repeat the trick come down here paste and this is going to be following and this is going to be oh wait no it's supposed to be follow what do i call it um i called it followers might be might be confusing um might be confusing and here following uh follows we could call it followers of or um but will we <laughs> i think we could tell that it's a function by whether or not we call it and then pass it along and how we use it could we could tell whether it's a function or not but um yeah i just didn't realize that i act I'd actually called it the same the same bloody thing okay so what we're going to call it is we're going to call it um followers let's just call it followers it works the same right and this is going to be user id and it takes in a string and this is going to be of the followers is going to reach over to the followers collection like so and this is going to take the user id and this is going to be self dot followers and it's just going to be the document um depending on how we call it if we call it and we pass in the if we call it and we pass in the um the user id it will know that it's the function that we're calling right and uh why is it complaining oh because we haven't okay yeah yeah we'll sort that out in a bit so how we could do it is when we call load boosts right we want to call in the follows follows like so and the follows takes a user id and this can be just the user id like so and after that we have the following following and um this takes the user id and this is going to be of type user id like so so i call it um okay is it confused followers okay followers followers like so okay And now we go to the profile header and the profile header is complaining because we need to pass in a couple of things before um, we need to pass in a couple of things so that uh, we can make it work and um, the profile header expects us to pass in the following the following and we can get this from since we, b we bound it we can say profile service dot uh, following follow yeah this is following dot following like so and after that for the followers we could do the same we could say profile service dot followers and to figure out whether we're talking about the function or the or the variable and we can try out our code hopefully cross our fingers we should get zeros because we actually only have one user in the database so far and we should get zero and yeah you see we get zero it checks it sees that there are only nine nine posts we've created nine posts we have um zero followers and we have zero following basically rather than our 20 right and yeah and so basically that's that we have made our we'll create the functionality of adding the followers so that we can actually make these numbers move up and down right and um we'll do that in coming videos but as always thank you for watching this much uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new leave a comment in the comment section and i will see you in the next video